Hello and welcome to your third Unity 3D Bricks game tutorial series and in this video we're gonna move and bounce the ball we're gonna make the ball bounce and move so in order to create that first of all come here click on sphere and let's rename it to ball okay now we have renamed it ball now what you're gonna do just right click on the assets part right click here create from here you create you select physics 2d material okay physics 2d material click on that and name it v o u n c e bounce okay and name it bounce okay now within this material using this material we're gonna make the ball bounce so when you click on the material you will see two properties one is friction another is bounciness we want to make the friction 0 and the bounciness 1 uh, not 41 1 if we make the bounciness 1 that means the ball will bounce the maximum and it will bounce always so once you have done that you just drag and drop the bounce on the ball so select the bounce and drag it and drop it on the ball now as you can see here in the circle collider 2d the material of the ball is bounce okay now bounce is here so the ball is already bouncing so just click play and let's see yeah the ball is always bouncing as you can see the ball with now bounces we have attached a bounce material to it now in order to make the ball bounce right to left and just uh, just collide with the boundaries we have to make the we have to add a force to the ball at the start of our uh, program so in order to do that uh, let's add a script to the ball so click on the ball add component new script and name it ball move okay name it ball move create an add now just double click it and the ball script will open Mm, yes so within that ball move script let me make the font a little bit bigger now within the ball move script we're gonna add a force to the ball so rigid body 2d dot add force and we want to add the force in a certain direction so create new vector 2 and direction will be just not totally right not totally up not totally right it will be middle of x and y axis that is it will be like here it will be like this okay it will be like this somehow so that is why we want to add some force in the x axis and also we want to add some force in the y axis so for the x axis let's uh, let's write 1f and for the y axis let's write 0 0.5 0 0.5 f okay so this is the amount of force uh, this is the direction in which we want to apply the force now let's let's uh, multiply it by time dot delta time and also multiply it by a uh, force okay so now what you have done is oh first of all let us make a create a variable here public float force so what you're doing is we are adding a force to the rigid body that is attached to the ball in the direction in this direction that is 1f to the up and 0.5 to the right okay and we are also applying and uh, multiplying it by time to delta time that basically means that we are applying the force per second instead of per frame and finally we are also multiplying a force to it so it will uh, be forced it will be the force will be added with this force and with that done click the ball and here we can see the force let's make it two now we have to do uh, two more things from here you can see the gravity skill is 1 now we don't want any gravity to affect the ball so you want to make the gravity 0 we also don't want any mass so make the mass 0 and we don't want angular drag so make it 0 and finally fixed angle check it okay so mass 0 everything 0 and fixed angle checked so with that done let's come and click on run 
Now as you can see the ball moves from left to right and if we paddle it the ball just puts here and it just comes moving. Now we have created the basic game mechanics. Uh, in the next video we'll add bricks here and we'll also add other mechanisms to uh, make our game more enjoyable. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very very much for watching. Uh, I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.